I want to talk to you about the intersection of uh, humans, big data, machine learning, and cognitive computing. How they're intersecting and how that's going to impact the way we do business, how you, how you uh, interact with your consumers, how you actually run, go through your normal life. Okay? Before I go through that, let me talk about the trends. What we're seeing is uh, the analytics landscape is shifting and shifting rapidly. All of us here uh, would agree that big data is exploding, data, expl data is exploding, and it's going, growing really fast. But what we've seen in the last few years is the, the rate of growth is increasing rapidly. Right? Uh, a Gartner study showed that in 2010, we had 7 billion networked uh, devices. In the next five years, that will grow to 26 billion devices. Imagine the amount of data that's going to capture. Right? At the same time, we're seeing technologies like cognitive computing, machine learning, and you've heard a lot of speakers before me talk about how they're using machine learning. And Simon was uh, one of the companies talking to you about uh, machine learning. What we're seeing is these are getting increasingly mature. I mean, I started cognitive computing about four years ago, and technology has come a long way, and started getting embedded in our customers' processes. The market dynamics are also changing. What we're seeing is that the price of storage is dropping rapidly. Right? It doesn't matter if it's on the cloud or on-prem, the storage is getting really cheap. Big data infrastructure is becoming extremely mature to what it was a couple of years ago. Um, you had M and Mike from Cloudera talk about all the new things that they're bringing out. It's rapidly uh, evolving. The other thing that we're seeing is a shift in the mindset of the C-suite and our clients. They are now increasingly understanding the power of analytics, big data, machine learning, and starting to embed them in their decision, decision support systems. Right? Now, take that, all, all those trends, and then think about what the consumer is doing. Right? Now, it's a term that we've coined in Accenture. We call it liquid expectations. What liquid expectations means to us is the customer's expectations are fluid. They're in an ever-changing environment. They expect uh, faster cycle times from, uh, from the businesses. They expect you to react real time. All right. With liquid expectations come liquid opportunities. Right? Uh, size no longer matters. Um, if you are an organization that is comfortable, you're a market leader at a certain, um, certain level of customer service you're providing, it only takes a disruptor to fill that gap and that void. There's multiple companies out there that you see the examples of, like Uber, et cetera, that fill those gaps. Right? So what does this all mean? Right? I've talked to you about customer expectations, trends in analytics, but what's happening in technology? What's conversion? Right? And the rise of intelligent machines. And before anyone starts freaking out about um, um, uh, Terminator, etc., I'm not talking about <laughs> Terminator. Um, intelligent machines is about talking about cognitive computing. Cognitive computing is all about a machine reading vast amounts of unstructured content in natural language. At the moment, it does it in English language, and it's going to do Japanese and et cetera. Right. Understanding, interpreting that, and actually engaging with you uh, as, a, as a human and talking to you in English language. Then you've got IoT and machine learning. Millions of devices capturing data, structured data, that you're able to capture in just really quickly. But it's not about scrubbing this data and making it perfect. It's about finding the noise, and, uh, the insights of the noise in that data. Right. The third part is your variables, your Google Glasses, your watches, um, your Fitbits, etc. When you bring all these together, and, and this is where we're seeing a lot of conversions in, in the technology, when these things come together, you get intelligent machines. Right? Intelligent machines are uh, all about the feedback loop. It's about learning. So if someone, one of the speakers earlier talked about Groundhog Day. Right? These machines thrive on ground, Groundhog Day. They learn from their mistakes, correct themselves, and re-engage. Right. So what does that mean uh, for you as a consumer, as a, as a business owner, uh, as a practitioner? Now, uh, think of it, I'll give you an example. I, I'm from Australia. It's summer. Uh, everybody goes to beaches. It's very hot. Right? Um, the most topical thing in the, in the press at the moment is shark attacks. Uh, right. We've had 25 shark attacks in the last few months in, in Australia. You'd think the sharks have it in for us humans um, in the region. But you know what? Th let's apply intelligent machines to this concept. Surf lifesavers in, in, in uh, other beaches troll through um, with binoculars and through boats, et cetera, at what's happening in the ocean. They have uh, Google Glasses or a similar device. We can capture that information, 
process it through uh, machine learning, look at the image and, and figure out, is that someone drowning or waving? Uh, Australian joke there. Um, if um, <laughs> that's an old band, shows your age. Um, wh whether there's a shark, right? But the, the intelligent machine is about the cognitive computing side of things, actually giving the instruction to the lifesaver to say, hey, that's actually a shark, you need to evacuate the beach, you need to sound the alarm, or someone's drowning, get, get somebody out there, right? It's actually instructing them through. The, it's about the interaction, um, and the machine's actually making the process simpler, right? Um, time drawing out, so one last thing I'd say to you guys is, think of it from, from the work that we do uh, in consulting. Try, uh, Google um, a company called The Grid, or look it up on YouTube. Uh, they're all about using artificial in intelligence to build websites, right? No coding, no templates, nothing. You, you tell it what you want and they'll build. Uh, the machine will build in the self-learned and, and correct itself. That's the future, that's where things are going. Um, with that, I'd like to thank you. Um, I hope uh, that short speech has given you some ideas of where this is going. Um, please do come visit us at the booth. Uh, I'll be there, a lot of my colleagues will be there. Happy to have a further discussion with you guys. Thank you.